My name's Indy Quinn and I'm from Obost. I've sent myself the personal challenge of riding from MacArthur in Western Victoria to Melbourne, 570 kilometres. But I'm not worried because I'm travelling with 2,700 other bike riders on the Great Victorian, Victorian Bike Ride! Yeah. Kogelman from Nathalia and I'm Ava from Melbourne and we both needed a big challenge in our lives. Now I came across this pamphlet that was advertising the Great Victorian bike ride on the Great Ocean Road. Therese had never been on the Great Ocean Road and decided well this is it so here we are. So here we are! Sometimes I'm asked, why do I do this bike ride? The reason I do this bike ride is that it's the best fun I can have for nine days every year. It's a personal challenge. I wanted to do it. It's fun. Oh, I had to have fun. Uh, Me chicks mainly. <laughs> and it's a challenge to get over the top of hills. I love going down the hills. And it's great fun. <laughs> It's fun, isn't it? It's fun, isn't it? To have fun and make new friends. It's a great way to see the countryside on a bike and a good physical challenge. This is not so fun. heading off to Warrnambool. One of the great things about this is they take care of everything, even the luggage. Hi, I'm Richard Jeffrey from Geraldon. I'm on day two of the Great Victorian Bike Ride. We're just crossing the River Moyne, riding out of Port Ferry. We're going to Warrnambool today. It's about 70k. It should be a great ride. And I'm really enjoying the ride. I've been on about 30 of these. They're, they're great fun. My name's Julie and this is Sarah. Hi. And we're Canadians and we're over in Australia going to university. We've been here for two weeks. We're having a great time and we love the bike ride. Hey, what's hey. Going on? Everything, all you have to do is turn up with your bike and pedal. Having a wonderful time, the bike ride caters for all ages. Amongst the youngest are the Peace Twins, Zoe and Luke, travelling with their brother James and their parents. And the eldest is Alan Hartog, who's 85, and I'm somewhere in between. We've just ridden 70 kilometres to Warrnambool. And now it's time to relax. Lovely way to end a lovely day.
on day three. We're on our way to Port Campbell today. It's been fantastic weather. Should be clearing up a bit later and it'll be a good day for the beach. We're having a fantastic time. It's just been awesome. Yeah. On TV, Keith. On TV. Best fun in the world. Hi, my name is Mark Bentz. This is my wife, Tracy. We're on our honeymoon. We've been over here for a few weeks. We love the Great Victorian Bike Ride. It's a beautiful event. We heard about it in the Lonely Planet. We've had a great time here, and it's gonna be unfortunate to go back, but it's a great ride. It's taken us two and a half days to get here, but it's been worth every minute. Magnificent ride, I'm having a way of time, <laughs> and um, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. <laughs> And we've had this uh, wonderful almost 70k trip from Warrnambool to Port Campbell and we're just delighted that uh, Bicycle Victoria has got wonderful hot showers waiting for us at the end of the trip. It's fantastic. Hello, my name is Marie. I'm riding with Geelong Grammar School. What a magnificent way to start day four of our ride. We're on our way to Apollo Bay. It's going to be very hot and very windy. And we've got the challenge of Labor's Hill. But tomorrow is rest day. Well, the training's paid off. I haven't stopped yet. 
But I can't chat for long, guys, because I've got a hill to climb. See you at the top. today coming from Port Campbell and come over some big hills in some fairly hot weather but it's been a wonderful ride and I'm looking forward to going down behind me to Apollo Bay to the campsite and having a well-earned shower and rest. Today is day five of the Great Victorian bike ride. We've done nearly 300 kilometres. It's now time to sit back, relax, put your feet up, have a glass of wine, a swim, whatever you like to do, because today is our rest day. sponsor of the Great Victorian Bike Ride. This year our theme is Be Bright Day and Night. On the ride we have Peter's Crackers Cannon as usual. And along for the first time we have World Cyclist Champion Anna Wilson. You tell me this, uh, you were on the bike ride about 10 years ago. I was first time I ever did it, 1990. First year uni student, keen as mustard and suffered over the hills. Were you racing then? No, I, I wasn't racing then, but I rode with a few guys that were racing at the time and, and they thought I showed a bit of promise and they encouraged me to try racing. So the Olympic green dream started on the, the Big Rose Great Victorian Bike Ride? Yeah, it did. Uh, I, I, then I went on another few of the Great Victorian Bike Rides. I went on a couple of Great Tasmanian Bike Rides, a Great New Zealand Bike Ride. I was an addict. It was great bike rides. Beer and mix with all the people. It's 
it's been a terrific way to finish off a long day's ride. Today is day six and we're riding along the Great Ocean Road to Anglesey. The weather is really good, perfect conditions, blue sky, a slight breeze and I'm really looking forward to a good day.
summer on the surf coast with the great Victorian bike ride people beginning to stir I can hear the zippers going on the sleeping bags people are popping out of their tents heading over to the shower block there's an awful lot of fluorescent micro popping up around the place lots of fluoro green and orange which of course is essential wear on the Great Victorian bike ride. Clouds are looking a bit thick at the moment, but I think this will clear away and uh, good stuff in store. A cool day's ride, but uh, they'd be grateful for that after some pretty steamy conditions over the last few days. Today is 52 kilometres in distance, which is a bit shorter than the average distance. We've done about 100 kilometres in one day, which is quite tough. But all in all, it's been really fun and enjoyable. I'm looking forward to next year. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! We are pleased that you have come through our township of Anglesey. And we trust that you will enjoy the cycling that you have ahead of you today as you travel along the great ocean road. God, God save, save the Queen! Queen.
Mr. Little Girl. You know you twist so fine. Come on and twist a little closer now. And let me know that you're mine. This year's been a classic, and I'd like to thank everyone who helped make it happen, the volunteers, the police, the ambos, everybody. Thank you and well done. Next year, we're going to the northeast of Victoria. That's Legends Wine and High Country. Ned Kelly's the legend. The wine's fabulous, and high country means great views and great cycling. So I hope we can uh, see you there. I guess the highlight of the trip for me was the meeting of all the people, the, the variety of people and the friendliness, the camaraderie. We help each other out, constantly talking in the queues. The highlight? Um, I don't actually know. Well, my highlight was definitely Lavers Hill. A lot of people thought it was really difficult, but I thought it was really worth it when you got to the top. The view was great and the way down was absolutely brilliant. I reckon it was great riding along the beach, along the Great Ocean Road and being able to look at the scenery as you're riding along. My highlight of the whole ride was definitely Lavers Hill. It was so, it was the biggest climb I've ever had to do on the bike and it's definitely been my toughest out of all the rides I've ever done in my life. Oh, unquestionably for me the highlight of the ride was the fact that the Great Ocean Road was closed between Apollo Bay and Lawn, oh, even further down to Anglesey and that allowed us to have a, a free go on the road and allowed sprinting and various other activities. Uh, the highlight was definitely the leg that we did between Apollo Bay and Anglesey. We had the whole road blocked off and it was just great to have the whole road to ourselves. The sun was sparkling and the sky was blue. It was just awesome. Just beautiful, beautiful scenery. Probably riding up Labor's Hill. I'd had friends who had been on the Great Ocean Road trip before and they had to walk up it, so I was very proud of myself when I could ride up instead of walking. The highlight was the camaraderie and the friendship of everyone here. Everyone just pitches in. Great. The Great Ocean Road! Oh, the highlight of my trip. This trip has been travelling with my son. Uh, I've been planning this for a little while and uh, he was able to get out of school. He's 13. Don't get too many chances to do this in the future. It's been excellent. Good time. Maybe going down hills a lot. I think meeting just so many people who are all doing the same thing and you feel that they're, they're really your friends and that you can talk to them so easily and stopping along the way and I'll certainly be doing the ride again next year.